everyone, welcome to Deaf Director. I am Brian Redding, and I am bringing you something today that I'm actually really, really excited about. And that is a review of the Steadicam Steadymate. It's a uh, really, really intriguing piece of technology that was released about two years ago, maybe a little more than that. And uh, one thing that I'm really obsessed with as a gimbal operator, I do a lot of gimbal moves. Uh, this is my Ronin One rig that I have. I have a Ronin S. If you've done a lot of gimbal work, one thing that you really start to notice is the gimbal does a great job of smoothing out your footage, but it doesn't eliminate that fourth axis. And the Steadicam arm is essentially this thing right here, and Steadicam technology has been around for, for decades now, really, really maximizes in taking away the fourth axis. So when I heard about the release of the Steadicam Steadymate, I was really, really excited. I thought this would be something that would really add that extra level of game to you as a gimbal operator. And uh, I know personally as a gimbal operator, I would like to have the option of basically making a dolly that you can walk on and be a little bit faster and all that stuff. So I guess it's the, it's the holy grail, if you will, of us gimbal operators out there. Um, but that being said, when the Steadicam Steadymate came out, I was very, very excited and I started waiting for people to review it or to mention it or talk about it or even admit that it exists and I couldn't find anything. It has been years, years and almost nothing on it. So as fate would happen to have it, I did have a job coming up and I did find that I could rent this on borrowlenses.com and use it for a coming shoot. So there's no literature on this thing, guys. I looked everywhere for videos on tutorials, on reviews, no one seems to be excited about it. So I figured I'd be the first to do it and uh, maybe there's someone like me out there that wants to know kind of what's going on with the Steadicam Steadymit. So here's my basic review about the Steadicam. Um, pros and cons of this thing. Uh, I did just use this on a commercial shoot for two days and uh, you know, there are, there are drawbacks and benefits to it. And I think, you know, if you're thinking about investing in it, this is the Steadicam Steadymate with the 30 arm, which is, this gives you the heaviest arm. It's a $3,000 piece of technology, and you might want to know kind of what my thoughts on it are going forward. Um, my first thought, as far as the pros of this system goes, it's this. Um, Steadicam technology. This is just, it's just great time-tested proven technology. It's very, very smooth. You know, you can run with it, keep your everything steady. Um, so you know that Tiffin, you know that Steadicam, they've been in the game for 30, 40 years at this point, uh, the technology is proven, it works really, really well. Um, the second thing about it is kind of in tandem with that, just got a really good robust feel. I mean, Steadicam makes good equipment, uh, really robust. Uh, you really feel if you get this, that it's gonna last you as long as you need it to. This is one of those things that we call legacy buys. You know, you buy these, you can go shoot on this for decades and it'll probably still be pretty good shape, you might have to tune it up, but you know if you buy this, you're gonna buy it for a long time, which kind of helps mitigate the cost. Um, one thing that I really liked about this, this is actually the Steadymate right here. The Steadicam arm and the vest kind of goes with other Steadicam things, but the Steadymate is right here. It basically, you replace one of the handles on your Steadicam and it comes right here and does it. Um, so one thing I really liked and appreciated about the design of this is you put it on there, you tighten it up, and it lives on your Ronin or your Movi or whatever you have it, it really well. I mean, you can basically put this on there at the beginning of the day. It's good. It's not in the way. It's intuitive. You can operate really, really easy. Um, it's, it's just really, really nice to kind of go there. Um, another benefit of this, another pro actually, is it does smooth your footage out. Um, it does help to lessen that fourth axis, those steps. And you know, I always try and I've done enough of this that I really am careful about how I walk and how I step, but you know, I'm still human. My hips still transfer motion in my body. And this does help eliminate the footage. It helps smooth it out some. So that is obviously what you want this for. And it does do a, a job of that. Um, another benefit of this is that, I'll be honest, I went on a shoot this week, you showed up and uh, the client that I was shooting for this was really impressed. I mean, it does add a level of the, te the technology, the look of it. I mean, you can, you can see this thing from the side. You look like a robot walking around and it just makes your clients feel 
that you know what you're doing. So if you're in a situation where you're shooting commercial work, uh, maybe you just want to look like you're impress your clients so they really feel like they're getting their money's worth, uh, you know, this does have that little uh, added benefit. And really the last pro about this that I would say would be, um, you know, this is a real steady cam arm. This is a real steady cam vest. And uh, the good thing about that is if you buy this, you're kind of building a steady cam base. So down the, down the road, if you want to build a steady cam system, all you have to do is buy a sled. You can build up from there. And uh, like I said, because these products are so good, steady cam technology, uh, it's pretty nuts and bolts. So I would think even in 20 or 30 years, this arm is still gonna do the same thing. It's not like gimbals or cameras that become outdated. This stuff will pretty much stay around forever. So you have the future to build onto it. Okay, so that's the pros. The cons of this system, and I'm gonna say full disclosure right now, I am a, I already have a, a, a Cinemilled Ready Rigs system that I use. So a big part of this SteadyMate system is how I kind of compare it to the Ready Rig system. And I'm actually gonna do another video you can check out where I compare the Ready Rig to the Steadicam. But today I just wanna kind of talk about that. But my experiences with, with the Ready Rig do color my experiences with the Steadicam. Um, but first con to the SteadyMate, and this is a big one, absolutely terrible, terrible support from Tiffin on this product. There are literally no videos I could find on this product, except for trade videos at trade shows, and Tiffin put out one video showing a guy in a factory following a guy out to his car with it. No support, they didn't explain how to use it, uh, there's absolutely no tutorials, uh, nothing. If you get this vest, you can go on the Tiffin website and download a PDF manual that you then have to read through. Now, that's fine, you could read through it, it does make sense, but several years ago, I brought a Steadicam Merlin. It was a $500 little device. There were videos on it, there was support, tons of stuff to go out there and figure it out. This is a $3,000 system that doesn't have a single support video from Tiffin. That worries me. That worries me. It's almost like they don't really care that much about this product. And I would think that I speak for most gimbal operators out there, the people that are interested in this technology are, are experienced gimbal operators that want to take their gimbal game to another level. And the fact of the matter is, there's so many nuances to a Steadicam system that you're really not getting the most out of this system simply because you don't, aren't 100% certain because the support is so bad on it. Um, now, I did get this system at the end of the day. I set it up pretty easy. It wasn't that hard to set up. Um, I had it perfectly balanced. Uh, you know, I had the drop test all done, but I still don't know, honestly, if I had all the nuances of the vest and the arm completely worked out to get me the best footage possible. I'm sure my footage probably could have been a little bit better, but I don't know because Tiffin doesn't let, and Steadicam doesn't let us know what's going on. There's absolutely no support. And uh, which in my opinion in today's world, uh, is just inexcusable. I mean, they could, come on guys, you can go in the warehouse, cut on a camera for 20 minutes, do a tutorial, be done and post it. And I think it would really make this product valuable because I know a lot of you guys out there probably really want to know how this thing works. And it's just not something that you just pick up and do. You do have to have, uh, there's nuance to it. And I feel that it actually detracts from people wanting to buy this because there's no support for it. So that's my number one drawback for this. Um, the second drawback that I have for this is the vest. Um, now the Steadicam vest, yes, they're great. They, they do what they need. They work well. Uh, they support but that being said, if you're a smaller person, I'm five foot eight, I'm not a giant person. Uh, I'm at the very bottom level of this vest and it's just not that comfortable. I mean, it works, I can wear it. I was on a set the other day, I could wear it for 30, 40 minutes at a time, but I started feeling little aches and pains after that 30, 40 minutes. And you know, that's a big thing because I have a ready rig vest and I can wear that thing for literally hours and it's comfortable all day. Um, so you can compare those vests and I would just say now that being said, maybe a bigger guy, maybe a bigger person uh, could probably wear these vests. It feels like they're designed to be built for a little bit bigger people. But if you're 5'8 or if you may be a smaller guy or maybe a female operator, 
uh, in my opinion, the vest just is not that comfortable. It's not really maximized for you if you're a smaller operator, so that's something to consider. Um, and that kind of leads to the long-term operation of this. One thing about this is, you know, I could put this on, and, you know, I could go shoot with it for an hour. That was fine. I mean, and, you know, one of the things that I think any support system for a, a gimbal is, is that you need to be able to shoot for long periods of time because you don't want to be wasting time on a set resting your arms and going. So you need to be able to put this on and just go with it. And, um, you know, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Usually when I'm on a set, I have monitors, Teradex, fo follow focus systems, all that stuff in addition to this. So this becomes really, really heavy. And you, know, you get real cinema lenses on it, stuff like that. It becomes a very heavy system. Um, so you want a support that can, that can take the weight, transfer it to your hips and legs, and just make you feel good. Um, and this does that. I could, like I said, I could operate for about an hour maybe, but man, I was really feeling some aches and pains in that hour afterwards. And you know, that compared to the ready rig this vest is you can wear ready rig all day and uh, you just don't have it. It just transfers the weight a lot better and, and just that's a big thing. So um, that's a con I would say compared to a ready rig vest. If you've never had a ready rig, you'd probably pick this up and be ecstatic about it if you used to hold hand holding this. But uh, in my opinion, the vest just isn't quite as comfortable as something you'd like for, for long terms. Um, all right, a second big thing is doorway clearance and safety. Now, as you can see, this thing sticks out pretty big. It makes me pretty, pretty big. And it's, it sticks out a little bit wider than my elbow, but it's a big arm. And what I had to do when I was shooting is actually have my first AC uh, beside me as a safety component, just making sure I wouldn't hit people and actors as we're doing these movements. And I'm a guy that likes to have a lot of actors walking around. So we had to really be careful of that. So um, this is a factor. As a matter of fact, um, it becomes, there's certain shots you just can't get. I know you can walk through doors and push it through like that, but when you're doing a shot, you don't want to have to worry about that. You just want to be able to flow. And uh, this, if you're in a big area, it's not a problem. If you're someplace that's tight, that's got a lot of actors, I can guarantee you, you're going to be smashing into stuff with it pretty much all day long. So um, this doorway clearance it can be problematic because safety is important. You don't want to be hitting people and you don't want to be breaking stuff. And uh, you know, while it is a nice arm, it is, it is kind of cumbersome, which makes a problem. Um, you know, other con. This one's a big one. Compared to the ready rig, the results of this thing are very, very similar. Um, you get almost identical results eliminating the fourth axis, uh, but this thing is $1,000 more than a ready rig. A ready rig will cost you about $2,000. This will cost you about $3,000. So literally for $1,000 more, you see almost identical results between the ready rig and the steady cam. Now, the results are good, they're great, but you could save $1,000 and get almost the exact same results, have a faster setup time and all that. Um, so that's a, that's kind of a, that's a con in my opinion. This is a steady cam. I really wanted to see that fourth axis dramatically reduced. Um, I feel like I did get it balanced really well. Um, I, in my opinion, all I could find, I feel like I did set it up. Once again, Tiffin, Tiffin doesn't really support my knowledge that much, but based on the drop test and the balance, everything was balanced. The drop test was really good. And I still filled up my footage. It was good, but it came out looking pretty much almost exactly the same things I got with my ready rig. So that's something to consider for a thousand dollars. You might be better off getting a ready rig. Um, another con for this just real quick is setup time. You know, this is a steady cam, and, and what it means is you have to set up your Ronin or your gimbal and you have to set up the steady cam. It does require balance, it does require all that stuff. So that's just something to really consider. I mean, if you're on a really tight set, you do gotta do it. I didn't think it was that bad. It wasn't that hard to set up, but it does add setup time to consider. You also need to have an assistant for this. Um, with my ready rig, I feel like I can put it right on, but this is something that you can set this up by yourself. You absolutely can, but you really need an assistant and you need tools for it. Um, they have levers here, but you need to use an Allen wrench to lock this down because it will not work being hand tightened. So um, that's just one more thing. If you're on a set and you just have those minutes of time uh, and you just, you know, you're, you're always running like a, with your hair on fire, then this does take a little more time. So that setup time is gonna be something that factors in.
All right, so there you go. Uh, that is basically my review of the Steadicam Steadimate. Um, like I said, it's, it's such a great potential here. And, and I will say full disclosure, there are probably, I feel like I got it balanced really well, but there are probably nuances here on the arm and the vest and on the actually Steadimate itself that I may not have gotten able to tweak it to its potential, but there's just no support for you to find out there. I, I, I really think I might be the first review of an independent person out there reviewing this product. And, uh, and that's just something to consider if you want it. Whereas if you go with a competitor like the Ready Rig, you can find dozens of videos about it, about the balance and how to set it up and do it. And you know, if you're an operator out there doing it, and you know, if, if Steadicam or Tiffin does watch this, I, I would say, you know, guys, there's a huge market. I think there's a lot of gimbal operators out there that are always looking to take their gimbal work to the next game. And it would be really nice if you supported this product, because I think it is a nice product. Um, I think it's got good potential, but as it stands right now, I feel there are competing, pro competing products that get you results that are so similar for much cheaper uh, and less headache and setup and way better support that that's probably what I would recommend. Now, if you get this, you can't go wrong with it. It's still nice, but I just think honestly, there's some competitors out there that may get you what you need uh, and save you some time, headache, and some money. All right, so that's my review. Hope you have a good day, guys.